I know I said I wasn't going to criticise Digital Extreme anymore about the little things, but I mean, come on. Don't expect it to appear here because this is where the big news kind of goes, but if you go to latest news, I kind of expected on Tuesday, the 14th, when they announce the Tenogen items that are going to be coming in the Lotus Eaters update, for it to actually appear here instead of basically hidden on the forums. It took me 10 minutes to get this to open, so I'm not clicking on that. I'm just going to go to this and go, Tenogen, can somebody please go to the comment section and explain to me how we have gone from them turning around and saying, we're not going to have Tenogen rounds anymore, so I stopped covering them because there's no way of keeping a track of what came out when, when they've basically got weird random names, and then turned around and went, this will be Tenogen Shadows 3. What does that even mean? Somebody please let me know because I'm not, just not keeping track of these things anymore, how they are numbering them. There is four new things coming, and to be fair, they do look absolutely amazing. As always, there's a, a good 99% of Tenogen stuff does look absolutely amazing. Even if you have to buy it with real money, or if you're on console and can buy it with platinum, you're lucky, because that's a feature we've been asking for on PC for quite some time. Stanax's skin looks amazing. Can you see it? I saw the shield and my brain went straight to one thing. It looks like Stanax has stuck his shield inside of Excalibur and just kind of spread Excalibur's chest over the top of the front of it. Uh, yeah. Kind of weird. I think it's just down to the colouring because they're basically Excalibur's colours. Once you take that aside... Stanax will be getting a Tenogen skin. Then we have the Sandana that I was looking at this and I love the details, the kind of, I want to say attempt at the Lotus symbols that are there, but then we can't see the bottom, but in fact we can. We just have to go back to the, let's call it promotional image to be able to see the fact that it has two bits on each side and a bit in the middle. And it doesn't look like it's going to be too long either. A perfect sand nana should just be shy of scraping across the floor. If it drags across the floor, in my opinion, it's too long. Because you can't see that level of detail while playing the game. So it's just something that goes to waste. Sometimes there are some long ones that look amazing. But the majority of the time it should end before it touches the floor. Kind of a great rule to go by. But that actually does look pretty nice. I love the bits at the side and the way they've got the dark around the outside with a bit of shiny silver stuff in the middle. Not too bad and a nice use of colours. There is a theme here. Can you see the theme in the colours here? Because they're pretty much all the same colour. The sword is exactly the same. The heavy blade skin. They will basically go on any heavy blade. I think this was only voted for because it's basically got a queen's face on it. You cannot turn around and tell me that is Clem when there's kind of a piece of hair around the top of it. Or around here, maybe that's another one. That You can look at this however you want to. This was probably only voted for because it looks like Clem in the middle and everybody knows... Clem. Just Clem. That's all you've got to say. But when you look at it as a whole, you kind of realise from this angle, it does look like I love the end of it and what they've tried to do with it. It's a nice touch. I wish we could see the end of it on here because you can kind of see the sword standing upright here with the built-in Sugatra. The actual handle. That's an, um, mm, that looks like a heavy blade, which is what you want from a heavy blade. You want it to look like it's heavy and it's going to deal damage when you hit people. And then we come to the elephant in the room. The Impactor Fist Skin. 
every Tenno gen, there is that one item that I always turn around and say the same thing. This digital extreme should have just turned around and said, how much do you want for the design of this weapon? We'll turn it into an actual weapon in the game. Because that would have made an amazing punching weapon. But instead, we get them as a skin that will go on any fist style weapon. I'm assuming it since it says fist skin. Same as the bottom one is called the heavy blade. Yeah, that's way too much wording. Skin. And the sandana. They have kind of sneakily, but not really, because they said they were going to possibly be doing this, added Tenogen Shadows 3, whatever that means. At this point, they, they said they weren't going to give them numbers, and then give it a number because it's called Tenogen Shadows 3. So they've stopped the normal rounds to go with a different one called Shadows, which you'd think would be a darker theme, but everything in here is Grunia based. And apparently unavailable, it says. Coming August 21st in amongst the whole Lotus Eaters update. What that entails, we still don't know. I'm really looking forward to this. But for now, we'll leave this off yet. Please leave. let me know in the comments section. When did they start using shadows to describe the Tenogen items? Because really kind of nothing dark and eerily about this other than the fact that instead of using bright silvers they're using dark silvers thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time